Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with another Super Mario Odyssey experiment. Uh, last time we made our way over here to uh, Mount Bobono. A couple of things I want to try out here. Uh, firstly, I've seen some videos where people make their way through parts of this kingdom without touching this like yellowy, rocky stuff. Uh, so I'm going to be trying to do that as we make our way through. Uh, I'm, I suspect it won't be possible to do at the beginning because you have to do that boss battle and the boss battle is on this surface. Um, but we'll see how we go. Um, and also I want to try out some of this, some of that, uh, lava boosting technique. I mentioned it in the crouching video. It's possible to, uh, throw Cappy just before you hit the lava and then bounce off her afterwards, which lets you throw her again. Uh, which might give us the ability to actually make our way past that spot without having to walk on too much of this, uh, stone. So we'll see how that goes. Oops, no, that worked properly, I just didn't do it right. I actually have the sound completely off right now, I can't hear it. Uh, because I was having so much trouble with Echo from the, um, TV in my camera, not camera, the other thing, microphone, that I have just decided to switch it off entirely to avoid that happening. Uh, we, you'll be able to hear it fine, I'm sure, but I can't, so... This is a weird experience. Uh, where next? Hmm... I'm thinking the most likely place that lava boosting will work is over th the other side there, so... Uh, let's see... Okay, um... That's touching the yellow stuff, obviously, but... I'm not sure we can avoid that, because that's way, way, way over there. Maybe with a really good cap bounce. Uh, yeah, that worked. Okay. Alright, so what I'm thinking is basically if we do a Cappy Roll Jump off of here to begin with, we might be able to get a good lava boost from there to make our way across to where the flag is. Uh, I think they're pretty much equally close, so we'll see how we go. Um, uh, I haven't ever pulled off successful in these lava boost things, so I'm not super optimistic. But, uh, we'll see how we go. Uh, we're also going downhill here, so that's not gonna work too well for a Cappy Roll Jump. If we come over from this angle, it might be a bit better. Uh, yeah, that looks better. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> No! <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Okay, I'm just gonna go over there this way, um, because I've shown it can be done without sanding on the yellow stuffs, and I want to get back to lava boosting as quickly as possible so I get some practice in, so... Yep, that's the plan. Um... There we go. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see here. So yeah, the problem here is you're on the slopes. So when you start rolling, you're gonna roll up the side. Uh, let's let's try standing on the yellow part just to make it a bit easier, and just do a cap cappy roll jump from over here and see what we get. See how far we can get. Okay, that's clearly not enough. Um. I think I need to practice the actual lava boosting part. Basically what you need to do is throw Cappy as you're falling towards the lava, and then after you've bounced off the lava, you bounce off Cappy, which um, gets you out of lava, lava boost state, basically. Like this. Only better. But you get the idea. Um, it's, it's tricky. Uh, let's get back up there and have another look. Okay, so the Cappy Roll Jump does get us a decent amount of the way there. Uh, kind of better than I was expecting. Uh, there we go. Ah. 
the the technique for doing the the boost part is is tricky. Um, let me just let me just practice a bit more. See if I can try to get it down. Okay, I think I've sort of got it. Basically, yeah, as Mario's falling, you want to throw Cappy forward so that when you bounce off the lava, you can then subsequently bounce off Cappy. I believe touching the lava does reset your cap bounce, so you can do another cap bounce after you've hit the lava, so that's okay. Uh, but... It's still tricky. <laughs> I, I think I can probably reach that flag, maybe. It's just it's just not not easy by any means. <laughs> Ooh. I might need a life up heart to do it. Uh, I'll use my Peach Amiibo. Uh, you can't reach the shop in this kingdom uh, until you've already done that boss battle, so it won't help us skip the boss battle if we do it that way. Uh, using an amiibo with the Joy-Cons is weird because you press right on the left Joy-Con to activate amiibo mode, but you have to touch your amiibo to the right Joy-Con because that's the one that actually has the NFC reader in it. Oops. <sighs> okay, so we're fully healed. Uh, I think that'll give us enough of a damage boost to make our way over to that flag. Uh, Obviously, if you did it perfectly, you could actually get the life up for another kingdom and then make your way over first try instead of dying a whole bunch, but I'm not perfect. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so yeah, that is entirely possible. Uh, it probably would have been doable. If I'd been a little better, I probably could have done it without a life up heart, actually, judging from the amount of damage I took there. And the, like, success value- success of my bounces and stuff. I took three hits, which would kill me without a life up heart, but I think I could do it in two if I were a bit better. Which I'm not. Anyway, that lets you get over here, which gives you a moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, which would otherwise be inaccessible. I believe the uh, lava bubbles don't show up yet, which means it's a little trickier to get around. We might be able to get over there and get two more moons. Uh, let's see. That looks really far, though. Mm, maybe. Maybe. We may need to use uh, another life stream, life up part, in order to have enough... Uh, damage boosts to get over there. Lava boosting in this game is much less powerful than Mario 64, basically because it stuns you from doing anything else until it's worn out. Ah, oh, yeah, I think I can make that. And I don't think I need a life up part. I think I can do it with that. I just need to be a little bit better. Uh, I hit the checkpoint, so we should, yeah, we'll spawn on the island again, which is a helpful waste. Oh my god. <sighs> Let me just heal up. <laughs> Ah, uh, Mario, Mario. That is your name, after all. The first and last names are both Mario. Okay, I think I can make it up there if I do a good cap bounce instead of messing up. Uh. I don't think I need the life up part either, I think I can do it with just three health, but I'm not sure, so we'll see how we go. Uh, there are two more moons in that area, and we can definitely get both of them, it won't be too tricky. Then I think we can walk on those little pegs there to get up to the village. Uh, or Peronza Plaza, or whatever it's called, the, the you know, town area. It's called Peronza Plaza. <laughs> That's exactly what it's called. Uh, there I threw Cabby up to the side, and then couldn't bounce off of her, but you get the idea. Um... But yeah, I think if we can if we can make our way over to this sub area, I think we'll probably be able to make our way to all the moons we need without necessarily having to do the boss battle, which is kind of cool because I kind of thought it was necessary. Yeah. Okay, so that wasn't even that hard, honestly. I just messed it up a bunch. Uh, this area will be very doable. This is just a 
fork flinging adventure. Which I'm messing up because I'm bad at video games. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, yes, I'll have those. Thank you. And I'll have that. Thank you. Boop. Huh. Alright. Over here, don't forget about it. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! <laughs> uh, then we want to grab the other moon, which is. I can't remember what music is actually played here, so. I don't really know what I should be hearing. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So that's three moons already, and we haven't done the ones that you can actually get before going to the boss battle the normal way. Uh, there's a couple there. Plus, I think we should be able to get into these little pegs over here to make our way over to the plaza. Yep, that should be doable. Just a little fiddly. I know for a fact that this can be done uh, without using the left joystick to cross these little pegs. Uh, so it can definitely be done with the left joystick. <laughs> uh, I believe that doing it without the left stick is the way people do a left stickless run of this kingdom, basically. You can do a left stickless run of nearly the entire game, it's pretty cool. Uh, okay, so yeah, that that's clearly doable, I just messed it up too many times. Because I'm bad at video games. We just use a long jump and then... Yeah, that's a better way of doing it. There we go, and we're now in the plaza, which is supposed to be inaccessible uh, until you've done the boss battle, which is down there. So I'm just gonna hit this checkpoint, there we go. And I'm just gonna grab, grab a few moons, I guess. Uh, I'll try to avoid all the story moons, uh, both because the boss battle is the first one, and that's my whole objective, is to dodge getting that, uh, and because uh, there should be enough other moons around for us to reach the total without doing any story moons, I think. Oh, that's interesting. That layout over there is totally different. I guess it's because the volcano hasn't erupted yet. Uh, I think there was a moon up here? Yeah, there is. I'm guessing Pronza Plaza music is playing, but I can't hear it. Oops. Uh, bam. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we've got four moons already. Uh, I think there's like three more we can get at the first little area, so we can grab those as well. Uh, you can buy a moon here if we want, uh, I think. Yeah, the lava bubbles haven't actually spawned here, so we can't use them, but we don't actually need them to go on from here. We can take a few different routes to get to where we want to be. So that's not a problem. Like most captures in this game, there are ways to skip them, which is kind of cool. Uh, you know, there's a moon in here. Uh, I believe it goes, yeah, up there again, so... Let's we'll do a couple of awesome wall jumps to get up there. There we go. ba da ba da ba da ba Yeah! Okay, so we're at five now, I think. Yeah, that, that pillar in the distance there is glowing, the farthest one. There is, I believe, another moon to be had over there. Oops. Uh, you can do that better than I did, but I didn't. <laughs> Obviously. Bam. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, that was at six. Cool. Uh, we can we can probably get enough purple coins to get into the sub area. Uh, this one here, there's another two moons in there. Uh, we haven't got enough purple coins yet, but I think we should be able to find enough. I haven't actually done any costume areas yet in this in this run, uh, which is why Mario is still wearing this outfit. Do -do 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 -do. 
Or runs the plaza music would be playing, but I don't know where it's up to because I can't hear it. <laughs> oh, oops. Yeah, you just throw the turn up in there for another moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. So 18, so we're halfway now. 7 out of 18. Is that right? 7? 77 is 14, so that's not half. 18, half and half 18 is 9. Need two more moons to be half. What am I talking about? Uh, you can just go over here in order to make your way over to this bit without having to use a love bubble. Which is good because I don't have any love bubbles. It looks like the, um, Panboros haven't spawned over here, which is interesting because you need a Panboro to do this under normal circumstances. There are ways to do this without a Panboro. In some runs, uh, in some versions of the game, I mean, in 1.0, you could actually clip inside that box without actually using a pambo. Uh, in this version of the game, you can't do that, and it doesn't matter anyway because, as you saw, there's no moon in there yet, uh, so it wouldn't really help us too much anyway. We can get some purple coins and stuff though. Um, I think we can probably, yeah, we can totally stop here. Oh, that gets us two more moons. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Which gets us to halfway. Uh, it's starting to look a bit tight in terms of how many moons we have access to. Uh, here's the other turnip. Normally you would break the cheese blocks over here so you get the turnip up more easily, but I believe it's possible without doing that, so we should be okay. Since, after all, we cannot break the cheese blocks because we don't have a pambro with us to do that. There we go, easy peasy. Just climb up here. And you can just drop the turnip in here, get another moon. <laughs> Mario, do not jump into there, you are not a turnip. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, we're at 9 now, we're halfway there, and we still haven't got any story moons. Which is pretty cool. Uh... I want to see if I can get all the way there on this video, I reckon. Because I reckon that would be pretty neat. Uh, let me see. I'm not sure where the trigger for the boss is from this end. I don't know how close we're allowed to get without activating it. Uh, there's a sub area down there which we can maybe already reach. Let's find out. Okay, yeah, we can go in here, no problem. So that's good. Because there's two more moons we can get in here. Uh, you may remember this area from uh, it appearing twice in the crouched run. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Since it is, it just sort of appears twice in the game with slightly different rules. As one of the game's more interesting decisions, <laughs> design-wise. Anyway, this is pretty easy. Uh, Using a lot of backflips, I've pretty much gotten accustomed to using backflips a lot because of the crouching run where you're sort of forced to. But they're really good, so it's not a problem. Ground pine jumps are pretty much the same though, so... It doesn't really make a big difference which you use. Uh, okay, so just gotta head over there for the last one. And we're done! So that's two more moons. Yeah. Okay, so we're at 11 now. We have been walking on the on the yellow like bricks and stuff, I know, but I've decided to change the experiment around to be the, you know, skipping all the story moons one instead. So that's okay in my book. Uh, I'm going to warp back to the Odyssey now because there are a few moons back here you can just easily get uh, without having to... Whatchamacallit? <laughs> Uh, without actually having to uh, do the story. Or use a weird skip to get past doing the story. Uh, it didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. There we go. Grab all of these. There's a lava bubble back there, so if you wanted a lava bubble for some reason, you could get one, but the lava bubble over here isn't very useful because you can't get it to the other side without um, going through most of the story, which unlocks a bunch of doors and stuff. So it doesn't actually help you, you know, skip any story moons. Uh, over here there's a timer challenge, these are pretty easy. 
And I've done these while permanently crouching, so they're easy normally. <laughs> Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Save plenty of time. Uh, another moon over there we can get, just sort of hanging out. And then there's one we can get by piling up some Goombas. And I think there's another one we can get over here, actually. Yep. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, and then we're kind of running a little short, honestly. Hmm. I'll have a look around and see what else we can find. We got that one. Uh, there would be a sub area here if we don't put the moon rock, but we can't open the moon rock yet because we haven't even finished the story, obviously. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, so we're now at, what's that, 14 out of 18? Pretty good. Uh... There's still one we can get for the Goombas, so let's do that. I am Gonkumba. There we go. I think you need all of them. I'm not sure. You know, you just bring them over here. And talk to this uh, Goomba with a pretty hat. There we go. Get a moon. This time the moon is placed up there, so you actually do have to hop out of your capture to get it, which is interesting, because when you do that, she freaks out, and it freezes while she's freaking out, and it's pretty cute. Uh, boop, there we go. Okay, so we need three more moons. Uh, let me think. Oops, that's not gonna get me a moon. I don't think there's one over here yet. Later there'll be some torches over here. Yeah, not yet. Oops, that's the first lava bubble I've captured in this run. <laughs> I hope you need it. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna walk back over to the plaza because if I try to walk there, it's gonna activate the boss and I'll have to fight the boss. So, warp it is. Uh, we can do the slots for another moon. We can do... we can buy a moon. Uh, we can also do that sub area now. I believe we have enough. So, let's do that sub area. Uh, we'll go into the shop here. Uh, and... purple coin shop. Here we go. Uh, you just need the chef outfit, which is this one here. And you can change into it as you wish. There we go. Cooking Mamma Mia, there we go. <laughs> uh, and you actually have to capture a lava bubble again for this one, so the fact that we did capture a lava bubble before, it's not gonna mess us up too much. Not gonna ruin our capture list forever or anything. But yeah, you go to this place here, and we're just as a chef, so we're allowed to go in here. Uh, and yeah, there's more lava bubbles here, so you just gotta capture these bubbles here, and jump into the pot. And a moon comes out. Pretty easy. The other one's a bit harder. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Now I think I think you can maybe just jump onto the tomatoes over here instead of actually jumping out and breaking them as Mario. So let's just experiment a little bit. Yes, you can. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't think that was possible for some reason. That's much easier, actually. I'm not sure why I thought you had to do it as Mario. Okay, that's actually a lot easier than I remember it being. Yeah, um, I was previously, you know, uncapturing the bubble, hitting the tomatoes as Mario, and then getting the bubble again to jump through quickly, but that way is much, much easier. So, there you go. Uh, okay, we need one more moon. We could do the slots. We could also do the, the other thing. Um, we could also buy a moon, but I think I want to have a look around and see if there's something a bit more engaging we can do, like a hidden moon of some kind around somewhere. Uh, a lot of the areas in this kingdom don't unlock until later, so it might be a little tricky. Uh, I know you can clip underground uh, and access the part that's currently below the surface, uh, but I don't think we can do that yet. I think you need to have access to a pambro to do it. 
Uh, it's this part over here, you know? Well, once you've gotten this story moon, it makes a whole extra section rise up. That part is actually there underground, and you can get down there. But I think you need a Pambro to do it. Uh, I know you can actually damage boost your way over there as well, so I might give that a shot. Uh, I think I might need more health. So I'm gonna hop on top of this thing and heal up. Alright, so yeah, I know you can damage boost this, I just don't know how difficult it will be. It may be very. Uh, you, go away. There you go. That's better. Um, okay, uh, that's really far. Um... <laughs> Okay, no, I managed it. I messed it up pretty bad, but I still managed it, because I'm awesome. <laughs> uh, there may still be a flag I can get over here, which would be good, so I can walk back here. I don't know if it's shown up yet, uh, but there's supposed to be one up here on top of the plaza, so let's have a quick look. Uh, watch out for that spiny there. Oh my goodness. That's not good. Uh, hopefully the flag is there and I can hit it. Yes. Because that heals me up. Uh, I actually can't capture the meat yet. You can see there's supposed to be like a thermometer sticking out of it I can capture. Um, but I can't yet because I haven't done the previous story moons. Those are actually forced to be linear, unlike the rest of the game, which is a bit weird. Uh, there's a couple of moons we can get from here. There's one down there. Uh, if you take a look down. I can't actually look straight down, but... Uh, if I can kind of zoom in a bit. Uh, in is that button. I can't quite see it in snapshot mode, huh. Um, but one of those, uh, little platforms down there, you can ground pound it, you can see a little sparkle, and there it is. There it is. Uh, can I pound over there and have a look? Well, I'm doing it now, but it's the lowest one of those little pillars over there. <laughs> uh, you can ground pound there and get a moon, but that still sounds a bit easy, so maybe there's something else I can do. Let's have a look around. I get the feeling I can't get over there, because there are no lava bubbles spawned yet, and that's much, much farther than this was. I mean, it might be possible, but I don't think it is. Uh, I can go into this sub-area pretty easily and do that. Or... Can I reach that one? I doubt it. Maybe from the top of the plateau, though. So let's, let's just uh, walk back up, just to save a little time, and see if we can actually make our way over to the Kapla sub-area from up on top of the plateau. Because we have a lot of height here, we might be able to use that height to our advantage. I'm thinking maybe here is the best place to try from. Uh, we're going to be of an angle so that we keep Cappy on the platform. So like this. Uh, it wasn't quite right, but you get the idea of what I'm trying to do. Uh, Happy roll jump. Whoa, okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, we can get a bubble here, which we can take over to the island here, where bubbles are already spawning. Oh, wow. Check this out. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, so we're at the remote island now. Uh, I'm going to get this, this moon on the outside here that you get filling up the cracks. Uh, because once I've done that, I want to try something else out, and I'm, I think it might actually softlock the game. So, uh, I'm going to get this moon first. Uh... There we go, moon, moon, moon. Okay, so that's done. Uh, let's just head back over here. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Um, before I do the next part, I'm just gonna save a backup file, just in case it actually saves in softlocks, because I happen to know it can softlock you. Uh, so I'm gonna save over file 4 here. Uh, that's my other experimentation file, basically. I, uh, I wiped that and restarted the game when the new version came out, 1.3, just so I could see if first moon skip still worked. It does. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, as you may recall, there is a painting around here, uh, which takes you to the uh, post-game kingdom, the Mushroom Kingdom, uh, here. So, I happen to know if you get to this kingdom early, which you can do by going to the secret path up there, and 
then doing a really tricky skip sort of thing to get down to where the moon rock is. Uh, it doesn't work on version 1.0, uh, but I happen to know if you do it that way, then the story moons are all messed up, and you can go through the painting to the Mushroom Kingdom, but it doesn't work properly and you get stuck. So I want to see if doing it this way also gets you stuck, or if it works properly, since uh, I did get to lunch in at the correct time, basically, even though I skipped the story moons and just got over here without them. I'd like to see what effect it has. Uh, it's possible that it'll save the game when I switch kingdoms, which is why I was a little worried. Um, because I am aware that it is possible, when you get to this other kingdom, uh, that the painting often will have nothing in it, uh, so you can't actually go back. Looks like we're fine. Uh, let's have a look around. Okay, so this is just working completely normally. Uh, what happens if you do brunch and skip, uh, and then you make your way over here, is the camera locks like this, like, you can't actually look around, and this painting won't work. You can still go up and get the star, but that's all you can do, and then you're stuck, because there's no way to leave the kingdom. Uh, thankfully none of that happened, so we're fine. Um, I'm gonna hit this flag, uh, just so that we can get back here later, without having to go to the painting again, and we're gonna head back. Okay, so, uh, that's, that's Lunching Kingdom without any story moons, which I did think was impossible. I thought you had to do the very first one. Uh, just because it locks off so much of the kingdom behind that first one. But it turns out it's not necessary at all. You can get every story, every moon you need, and some extra, actually. I could get the moons here, I could go back to the, um, I, I, I could get the other moon here in the 2D section. I could also get the moons in that uh, sub-area, or that sub-area. Uh, without too much trouble. I could get more than enough moons, and I haven't actually done the slots or the other thing. The, uh, the moon shop. I haven't bought a moon. So yeah, there's more than enough moons to do this, which is cool, actually. <laughs> so as you can see, we haven't done the brutals or after some cooking, which usually blocks off this entire, you know, main section of the kingdom, because there's no way around there. Turns out there's a way around there, which is to do a really w wacky sort of jump to get over to here, and then go from there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope the audio is, like, really good now, because, as mentioned, I can't hear it. I've muted the, like, TV audio entirely, just to avoid echo. So, hopefully it sounds good to you, because it doesn't sound like anything to me. Uh, I did, I did, you know, do some tests and it sounded okay, but, uh, hopefully this was not in vain, I guess. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, little experiment. Um, I hope you found it interesting that it turns out you can actually do this kingdom without any story moons. Uh, which means that, but, like, there, there are, let me think. Out of the kingdoms in the game, I think Metro and Cascade are now the only ones. Oh no, Metro, Cascade, and Bowsett's, Bowsett's Castle are the ones that require story moons. Still, that's, that's quite an improvement. <laughs> like, to drop it down by a whole kingdom's worth to do another kingdom without any story moons is pretty cool. Uh, I don't think those ones can be fixed because so much stuff unlocks just by doing the story that you absolutely need. Uh, whereas this one, it unlocks, like, that there are paths blocked by, by, um, story moons, but you can go around. Whereas in those kingdoms, it's, it's sort of mandatory to do the story to make the kingdom progress, because you need the progression to do anything with it. Hmm. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Again, I, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please let me know what you think, and... Um, if you have ideas for an Odyssey experiment, um, let me know. Uh, if you have ideas for how to record better stuff, <laughs> that's real vague. Um, if you have, like, some suggestions on how to get a good recording for an emulated game, like, my capture card only takes HDMI, so I can't hook up my PS1 to it, and PS1 anymore, actually. I, I can't hook can't my PS2 to it to play PS2, PS1 games natively and record them that way, so uh, I've got to use an emulator for that, but I can't figure out how to get good footage out of an emulator. Uh, RetroArch is supposed to have a recording feature, but 
it doesn't have it on macOS, and I can't figure out how to add it. I, I tried compiling from source, and it, it just doesn't work at all when you do that, so... I mean, I mean, it works, it just doesn't add any features it should have. If you use um, the Xcode build command they tell you to use. If you use make instead, I think it has the right features, but it doesn't work, because it doesn't bundle it properly. Uh, there's some super, super duper nerd stuff for you just at the end there. I hope you appreciate being nerded. <laughs> um, but yeah, that that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have suggestions for Odyssey stuff I can do, or other games I could do stuff with. Um, I do have a bunch of games, so if you want to, you know, see me play something else, let me know. Ideally something on the Switch, because it's easy to capture, but if you have something else that you'd really like to see me play, then let me know, and I'll, I'll give it a shot. Uh, or if you have something that we need to do in this game, or if you have um, a cute face and you, you want me to see it, let, let me know that you're cute, because I'm sure you're very cute. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's it, uh, cool, bye!